this is Kelly from House of Virgo doing your love reading for the next 24 hours. Let's take a look and see what the love messages are here for my Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And you know, you guys, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. Um, yeah, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. And if you're new, welcome. And thank you to everyone who's been subscribing to my channel. It makes me very, very happy. Okay, Virgos, past, present, and future energy. So let's see what your messages are here. Okay. So your person may have been, um, so I will say there's Libra. You may have been connecting with a Libra, Taurus, uh, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so your person may have been connected with a Libra or a Taurus or someone and that thing ended. There may have been like some truth came out or some reconciliation or something and that just like there was total betrayal and something ended or there was something between you and your person where you guys were connecting there was reconciliation there was like something in the past you might have been or your person might have asked you to wait or they were just kind of in this headspace where i don't know if they just, like something ended here Okay, something, I just feel like it ended, like it was very soon, like a decision needed to be made about whether or not to get into a committed relationship with this person. And <clears throat> maybe it was them and they may have decided that they just, not that it was you, but they just didn't want to do that. Okay, not, not that I don't pick up, there was anything with you specifically that they didn't want to do it. It just just seems like it's not something either they wanted or that they were capable to do, right? So let me get some clarifying cards here to see what is this judgment here? Okay, seven of wands. Yeah, I kind of feel like your person was just defensive against opening up and seeing the connection as something that could be very healing. You know, they just had a hard time coming to clarity. I feel like they just did not want to come forward or open up to you fully. Okay. Cause judgment's a wake up call. This is life's purpose. Either this person was not trying to seek to find out what their life purpose was, or they just didn't see this relationship as fulfilling a purpose for them. Okay. Um, but they were defensive about that. And I feel like they didn't want to share that with you. Let's take a look and see. Okay, the death card here. Hmm. It feels like something in the past ended. Hopes maybe shattered or something happened where you felt like, you know, this person just... <laughs> I just heard, tell Virgo that... Virgo, your person believed that you would be the death of them. <laughs> like you are the end all be all. They were not willing to surrender fully, but they did want to, to, I, I kind of feel like mm, it may not be over just yet with this person. I feel like um, they're still kind of in this, they're still trying to decide about this. It might just be a timing thing for them, but I do feel like they just kind of like gave up. Yeah, look at this, the hanged man. Like they were just stuck. They they did their best here, I feel, to try to see the situation like in a, from a different perspective, maybe your perspective or, however, I have to tell you, Virgo, there's this energy here with this hanged man, even though, there is a possibility when I'm feeling that your person is, they know, they know about you and them. They know that it's meant 
to be, they knew this in the past, okay? They knew, but they were just pushing back against it because they were not ready to fall, your person. Like, to get into that, like, commit kind of thing or marriage. I mean, this talks here about marriage, you know, and this is, like, forever. But there's, I do, I feel like maybe towards the end of the connection with you and this person, there was an element here, though, of, like, something ending, but then having some clarity here, Piscean energy here. It's almost like a spiritual thing, like an awakening of some sort, but having a different perspective. Kind of feel like um, for some of you, that's why I was just picking up this energy. I don't feel like it's fully over. Now maybe you ended some, you ended it with them, and uh, or you just let them go. And it seems like if that's the case, they very well could be seeing the situation from a different perspective. Because maybe they were defensive with you because you maybe have been were pushing them to open up and open up. And tell me everything, you know come clean with this judgment card, open and tell, tell you know, reveal, reveal. Uh, I don't feel like your person wanted to reveal or ready to reveal things about them or just open up and connect, make that connection. Virgo, did you leave? Did you, or did they leave and you let them go? Because I feel like that was pivotal. Let's take a look at the present. Okay, religious factors and attraction. Okay. And the reason why I feel like that was pivotal is because the present energy here for your person is that they are in this five of pentacles energy where they're struggling, okay? And they're struggling right now because, or they recognize that you guys have had struggles in a relationship. There's still a very strong attraction here. This person's very, still very... Um, romantically attracted to you, okay? Um, but there's blockages here. It could be religious factors or morals or beliefs or just you guys not being on the same page about things or what you both want. But you see, look at how these two people, they're, they're in the struggle together. Like, I feel like it's... I feel like it's, like, universally, I feel like it's still breathing <laughs> but it needs a little bit of oxygen, right? And nobody's giving oxygen to this connection right now, okay? Like, it's like you're both, like the relationship is like <sighs> panting, you know, like oh, I'm out of breath, you know? We're still, like it's, there's still a little bit of life left in it, but nobody's doing anything, right? And just trying to get by. And your person, they're feeling that same way. You might you might be thinking, oh, no, they're off having fun and they're dating and they're meeting other people and they're living their best life now. No, <laughs> not really. They might be, you know, giving you that impression right here because this is my dating card. And they might be trying to manifest that with others here with the Ace of Wands, but it's done out of a, a place of like desperation out of a struggle you know because your person doesn't really know how to kind of make something work here between the two of you so they kind of like oh well, i'll just try meeting new people and then maybe that'll be better right that's what i feel like is going on presently with them because they're sensing yeah yeah we're having a problem here but at the same time i do feel like that might be a message for some of you, for others, I or or just you. I feel like um, there's a a new initiation of some sort to have some kind of reunion. They're also thinking about that, so there's conflict here with your person. You know, it's like they want to connect with you and try to like heal this burden or the struggle, but at the same time, you know. It's hard. They don't know. You don't know. Nobody knows what to do, right? It's still kind of existing, but like I said, it's like, you know, if you have to look like an EKG graph, I mean, like, it's beep, beep. <laughs> it's like right at the end there, you know? Can it be revived? Somebody needs to get out the paddles, a little shock therapy. I feel like that's what it's going to take <laughs> at, at this point, and I don't, I don't know that you're willing to do that, but your person... 
it's kind of like having, you know, that, like towards the end, I feel like they had some kind of like wow moment. Okay, six of pentacles on the five of pentacles. So their idea to improve this struggle is maybe they need to be a bit more reciprocal with you or to be more giving and less selfish, okay? And I feel like that has a lot to do with um, that hangman energy and the ten of swords in the past because I feel like your person now is like, hmm, hmm. Maybe you were giving. Maybe you were the one who was giving all the time and they were just kind of taking. Um, you were initiating and they were responding, but they weren't putting in that effort in return with you. And I feel like your person is kind of like, hmm, how am I going to get out of this feeling of, you know, because fives is about uncertainty and not being aligned, you know, um, having freedom, but being too free you know they want to make change and that's what the six of pentacles is look he's making change um i feel like they are going to try to initiate something here with you in the present okay now does that mean like right now today in the next 24 hours not necessarily you know the present is just when it's present for them present time for you okay we're just kind of looking at this like you know it could be soon. It really could be. They could just be reaching out. Okay, now we have justice. Yeah, to try to make things right, be fair, be reasonable with you. Um, try to have like a win-win. There could be a truth that comes out. Justice is Libran energy here. Um, let's take a look at the Three of Cups. Oh, Knight of Swords. Yeah. I do feel, Virgo, that your person is going to connect with you. Now listen, I know some of you are like, okay, my person, who's my person? If you don't have a person, this could be, the, love is kind of like the umbrella of things, right? Love is, this for you, it could be a friend, okay? This could be under a friendship. This could be a husband or a wife or a spouse, I should say, or whichever. This this could be a romantic relationship. This could be something from a long time ago, or it could be someone you're presently dealing with or just have on your mind, okay? But I do feel like um, there's going to be some kind of like initiation, justice. Mm, this kind of feels like there's a win, like a solution. This person, even though there's some type of obstacles or differences between you, I feel like they want to come towards you like fast with that Knight of Swords energy. That's kind of like charge, fast talking, okay? Lifestyle change as well. Someone that wants to make, you know, they want to change things about their life or trying to change things. Um, now, wands aren't usually about communication, but this could be an idea of growth. Um, kind of like a light bulb, you know, um, it just feels very light bulbish, but this justice card, she does hold a sword there and that's the ace of swords. And that's where you guys kind of like have communication in a sense of like, when this person communicates with you, the ideas and the conflicts they want to overcome so you guys can have growth in this connection and I definitely feel like it coming towards you now in the future here mm, your person's got some codependency issues okay so if you're like in this position with like why do they keep coming back to you I feel like they keep coming back and expressing some type of love energy it's because of the codependency this person what drives them really is they don't they don't like to be alone and I kind of feel like even if they're out there seeking others, they keep coming back to you because there's something about your connection that um, feels real, okay? It feels true. And they have some kind of realization about this with, you know, their perspective has changed, especially if you guys are not engaging with one another at this time, okay? So here they are here. Look at this, Two of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ten of Pentacles, okay? Um, I'm feeling definitely a moving in together type of energy. There's this getting on the same page again with each other and big major change in the turning point, okay?
Okay, so I do feel like um, at some point, now this future energy could be like five years from now. I don't really, it could be two years, um, it could be 10 months. Um, I feel, it could be, oh, I just heard 2022, big, big shifts, major shifts and change happening here. Um, I feel like you guys are gonna be, like you're kind of addicted to each other in some ways. And right now it's dormant, okay? Um, dormant, I feel like your person does want to try to contribute or give back. They've just, they weren't ready. And now they're coming to see things on their own. It's not anything you're saying or you've said or you've done. It could be for some, but it feels more like they're coming to these realizations on their own. And that's a good thing, okay? Let's take a look at the Two of Cups. Yep, Ace of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, Five of Pentacles again, and the Three of Swords. Wow, okay, this person wants a new opportunity. They, they, they're they gonna bring in, um, or they'll, they're gonna feel, both of you are gonna feel like this is a golden opportunity, like the, when the timing is right, because the Wheel of Fortune can be about timing. Um, don't wanna be left out in the cold anymore. They wanna make this change and these shifts here with you. Okay, um, they don't, because when they're not with you, I, I really feel, and you might feel this about this person as well, but when you guys aren't together, there's kind of this sadness. This, I feel this deep sadness <clears throat> for some reason. It, it's like an overcoming sadness. It just, or like some kind of like heavy wet blanket when you think of them right now, like, but your heart, yet your heart is full of love for them, but the separation kind of gives you this sense of like, oh, it's so heavy, it's so overwhelming. You know, it weighs you down in a lot of ways, and, and yet you try to like, just keep yourself busy with things, right? Um, but I do feel like here, Why is this Three of Swords here? Oh. You know, I Virgo, I feel like um, this person feels the only, they have a broken heart as well. They do. And it, it may be from you, but it could be from someone else. And the only way this person knows, I feel like they broke your heart as well because, you know, it's like they say, hurt people hurt people, right? Um, if we don't heal our broken hearts, we go into our next relationship, either breaking hearts or getting our hearts broken, right? So this person, this 10 of Pentacles is about security, stability, safety. And it feels like your person really wants to have that that feeling with you they they come in all the coming back with a broken heart they don't want to um they want to heal it they don't want to have these arguments oh two of cups virgo see that's the healing the romance coming together yeah both of you both of you have these broken hearts you were both hurt maybe by each other that might have been like a trigger or broken hearted by something else or someone else. Virgo, I really feel like this person loves you so much. I really do. Look, and they come in expressing their love to you, expressing their feelings for you, Virgo. True, not just simple little things, but like true romantic expression of how they really feel about you. And for some of you, this is something you've wanted to hear. You Maybe you heard it before from them, but there's something different about this. It's almost like, <laughs> it's almost like that last scene in the old Jerry Maguire movie where, you know, you complete me. <laughs> and I'm definitely not gonna use that as a caption because, but it, if, so it's not like, it just feels that way. Like if you remember that movie, um, where Tom Cruise is like standing there and he's like so distraught in the tears, you know, like Renee Zellweger, you know, she just was like, I'm done, I'm out. I, you know, we're gonna lose all this time. You know how she was, you know, and she loved him so much, but he just could not open up and he would just hold back. 
and he was very avoidant and yet he still wanted to be with her and be in that relationship, but he didn't want to quit. You know, he didn't want to feel like a failure if it ended and he had to go through some kind of like wake up call, you know, that, and that's what it feels like. And I feel like this person, you know, comes back in. It's like, go watch that movie. That's all I have to say, go watch that movie. I know it's just a movie, but you know, people are like, oh, well, life's not like the movie. Yeah, because it's, we write these stories. People write these stories based on, they come from something, right? And sometimes that happens. Now, I mean, is your person gonna come through the door like all distraught in front of a whole room full of people and say, you complete me? Probably not. Maybe they will, I don't know. But it's that energy that I'm picking up from your person, like out in the cold, wet and damp. That's where they are right now. Out in the cold, wet, damp, struggling, uh, and it's not a good thing. It's not a good place. And it's not your problem either because you were there. You were there, Virgo. You were there. And you. some of you just had to like, they needed to go or they needed, you just said, okay, what are you going to do, right? Let's take a look and see what the love messages are from your person. Okay, addiction. And addiction is affecting this relationship. Okay, for some of you, this person struggles with some type of an addiction. I don't know. Addiction can come in a lot of different forms, you know, but there's greed, envy, materialism, obsessions, could be sex, sex addiction, drugs, alcohol, whatever. That's a third party. That's what your third party is. I don't really feel like you're the third party in the connection, unless you know it to be true. I don't really feel like there was anyone significant. There might have been other people that they talked to, other you know, attractive suitors, but no one's significant. Mostly, it was an addiction. Okay? Mostly, it was an addiction. <clears throat> and, you know, it's a general reading, so that's something that if you know that that's true, that could have a lot to do with this codependency here. And this person also might be very addicted to you. And that could have a lot to do with why if your person comes back a lot, like coming back once or twice, no, but if there's like a hot, cold push pull, like in and then out for a while, and then they come back in and, and it's like, it's bizarre if there there was a tremendous amount of that going on then yeah there's an addiction of some sort all right let's see what else oh but again someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation look you guys spiritual transformation your person recently has gone through that and they're going through this awakening here that's what i'm saying maybe they're getting their addiction under control okay or whatever it is whatever's going on um it's twice now addictions are affecting what's that say your romantic life okay so this person it's not you virgo this don't take it personally this person's got stuff going on and a leap of faith it's safe to make the move you're considering look at this look at this Addiction, an awakening, and a leap of faith. This is the first three steps of AA, the 12 steps. <laughs> telling you right now. If you don't know what that means, and I can't recite them because I, I just recall the first three steps. If you're dealing with someone that has an addiction problem, you were, you might be codependent as well, or you, you may have been involved. Um, you know, it's for some of you, you have sons, daughters, family members, friends that you're close to that have addictions. It's very difficult because um, you're kind of like a mistress. You're in the third, you're not a priority when someone has an addiction because they have to take care of that first, that priority first. So I don't know who this message is going to resonate for, but I'm hoping that if if you're like, wow, wow, and it does resonate and you're not, sh and you, you're, you're not understanding what you're in it wouldn't hurt to kind of like read about like being um in a relationship with an addict it might bring you some clarity and it doesn't matter what the addiction is because people listen somebody could be addicted to uh, lighting candles twenty five thousand times a day you know and it affects the relationship because they're never available they're too busy lighting these candles right so that's what i'm talking about whatever they're addicted to 
All right, uh, that must be a specific message for someone. I'm not sure. Could be addicted to, to being emotionally unavailable as well, because it's like a safety thing. Um, all right, let me get a message here for you, Virgo, but I do feel like, and I will tell you, I don't know if you said something to this person or they're having some kind of a wake-up call or they had it, um, and they're going to try to make their way back to you to try to heal and fix this connection between you. Um, okay, release. Endings that lead to new beginnings, the need to release situations or people that hold you back. Spiritual transformation. Now that's twice. Here and here as well. That's twice. I'm telling you. This this is your reading. This is what's going on. There is. Right now you got to release this person. Keep releasing this person so that they get that healing in. Because if they come back and the dynamic has not changed. And they're still active in whatever it is that they're active in. It's, it's going to be really hard to resume. There's got to be a, a like a new cycle. An awakening um there's got to be an element of like having faith and and healing this connection it can be healed it can 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 be healed now for somebody this could be reversed this could be you going through stuff here and things that you know you want to come back to your person but maybe you are like you don't want to lose them but you're struggling with your own addictions you know there's always help there's always ways that everything can be healed you know, um, you could look, I, I have to say this, and, and this is the one thing I'm going to say the, the, you always hear people say, you know, um, well, how can I heal this relationship if I'm healing and my partner's not? Because when you heal and you get healthy, it's then the way you change the dynamic of the relationship and how you communicate with the other person and people around you that they begin to heal as well. Right. You don't have to both be sitting in, <laughs> in counseling or something, you know, um, it's like if your person's an alcoholic and then they go and get help. OK, um, and then they stop drinking and they have like a different way of interacting with you that's more healthier. Now, of course, your relationship's going to improve. So it goes both ways. Right. So have faith, Virgo. Have faith. If this is something that you want to fix or have healed with your person, the number one thing for you is to get secure and stable and healthy within yourself okay and if this person returns and they're not able to you know get to where they need to be you have to keep yourself you know you can be loving and kind but you can't give your power away because you'll get sucked down into that hole just take time just go slow take time to get to know each other again or take time to bring this for they see there is a new love a recommitment to love developing here so it feels very positive and there is interference look external parties intruding on this relationship it could be somebody else it could be like all those addictions but this is something that does not belong and you know your story um better than i do that's for sure i feel like your person um see unhealed unhealed wounds blocking forward movement Okay, that's what's going on. People usually have, you know, with addictions, it's it's sense of self-medication, right? Because it's too hard to um, look at their fears and, and heal things. But look, stability here. This relationship can't stand the test of time. I feel very positive. I don't even know what I'm going to call this reading. Maybe I'll just call it I feel very positive about this, but I don't know. But I'm going to leave it there, Virgo. I hope that was helpful. I love you guys so much. Please hit like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all tomorrow. And don't forget to check out my playlist. Go to my community tab. I posted the Virgo next three months. Well, it's June, July, and August. Okay, um, from my other channel. So if you want to get like a little heads up for July, the rest of July and August, you can go to my community tab, click that link, and that will play the video for you, the reading. All right, you guys, love you. Bye.